Hi, my name is Henry Segerman. This is the D120 by the Dice Lab. Uh, the Dice Lab is myself and Robert Fathauer. Um, we worked on this with Bob Bosch. Uh, Bob is a mathematician at Oberlin College uh, who worked out the, the most balanced way to put the numbers on the die. And I'll talk more about that later. So this die has 120 faces. Um, this is the largest number that is possible on a mathematically fair die. So all the faces are identical, there are these identical triangles, um, and there are symmetries of the die that take any face to any other face, and that's what you need in order to be uh, a fair die. Um, and as I say, this is really the last word. Um, you can't go any bigger, there aren't any more symmetries. Uh, the only other possible things you could try doing are either sort of a cylinder with a hundred and, well, however many faces around the cylinder which you just roll forwards, or two pyramids with half that number on each. Uh, and both of those don't really work when you have over a hundred faces. They just turn into, um, you know, things that just roll forever, uh, and they don't really tell you which number is uppermost. Whereas uh, maybe it's a little hard to tell, it's easier to tell in person, but this has 12 as the number which is uppermost. Um, here I turn it around, you can see that that's, that's the, the face that isn't moving. So you can tell which face is upwards. Um, it's a little tricky, but you can do it. So the D120 is really quite large. Um, it's about five centimeters across, and this is a, in comparison to our D60, which is already a pretty large die, and of course there's a standard uh, D6 for comparison. Um, it doesn't roll forever though. This, we were a little worried about this. They would just keep rolling and rolling and rolling and never stop. So, I mean, obviously the D6 stops uh, first, but you saw that the D60 actually rolled on for quite a little longer than the D120. Yes, let's try it again and see what happens. You don't give it too much, whoops, sometimes it goes on forever. It sort of has two different uh, modes of rolling depending on whether it starts going. There's the D60 going off into the distance. Um, but yeah, if you don't give it that much force, it stops pretty quickly. So what about the numbering? So as you would expect for any good die with 120 sides, opposite faces add up to 121. So here's the 120 face, and on the opposite side is the one face. And so all the numbers are paired up in, in the correct way, so the opposite faces add up to 121. So more than that, uh, the die is numerically balanced, in fact, perfectly numerically balanced. And this was uh, uh, Bob Bosch worked on how to find a numbering which is this perfectly numerically balanced. So what that means, um, well, so, okay, you can see there's a corner here with 10 numbers around it, and there's other corners around which have 10 numbers around that corner. Um, the numbers around this corner add up to 10 times the average number on the die. So uh, the average number is 60 and a half, because there are um, 120 faces, and 10 times 60.5 is 605. And if you add up the 10 numbers around this vertex, you will indeed get 605, and the same for all of the vertices um, with 10 numbers around them. The same is also true for the vertices with six numbers around them. If you add up the numbers around this vertex, you get six times the average value. Uh, and the same is also true for the vertices with four uh, numbers around them. Uh, you get four times the average value. And so this means that the numbers are spread out um, as evenly as possible over the sur surface of the die. There aren't you know, lots of high numbers on one side and low numbers on the other, or anything like that. Everything is very balanced out over the surface of the die. So that's what I mean by perfectly numerically balanced, um, and it took Bob, it took Bob uh, maybe a month or so of playing with various uh, programs in order to uh, find a solution to this problem. So it's actually a very difficult problem uh, to find a, a solution to. So this is the D120 by the Dice Lab. Thanks for watching.